My name is Craig and I'm here at Rise Bikes to show you how to make adjustments to your derailleur if you're finding it being noisy. The types of sounds you might hear when it's noisy can sound something like this. Very clunky, possibly as well when the derailleur is malfunctioning, it will shift to the gear above or below the one you're actually looking for. So that noise or it being in the wrong gear is your first sign that you need to fix. First thing you're gonna always wanna try is adjusting this nut here. This is called the barrel nut. This controls the tension of the cable between the actual shifting gears and the, and the derailleur itself. Now when making the adjustments, you wanna make sure you're at the smallest cog. And make sure you push the downshift enough times to make sure that it is not trying to shift any further. You want to make sure it's on the lowest number as well. First thing you want to look for is to see how lined up. So if you can see here, if those are in a nice perfect line between all three gears, that's where you want it. This one here is currently a setup to be correct. As you noted, I had to shift this to put it out of placement. To shift it in towards the bike, you'll want to turn this counterclockwise. To shift out, you'll want to turn the barrel nut clockwise. There are two screws here. Those are the limiting screws. Those are generally preset to be at the right distance and setting. Those will limit how far over the chain is able to go beyond the maximum on either side. One screw is for the left and then the right. If you find that your chain is getting stuck between the gear and the frame or between the gear and the spokes and axle or motor, that is when the limiting screws will need to be adjusted. They can be a little temperamental, so when you turn them with a standard Phillips screwdriver, you will simply want to turn them a quarter turn, no more as if you go too far, you can throw it off even worse. Now, on rise bikes, you will note that the barrel nut is actually down at the derailleur itself. On future models to this video, we may have it up near the gear shifter itself, but currently all our models do show it down at the derailleur. Once you set it up in the lowest gear, the smallest cog, to be nice and lined up, that is where you'll wanna start pedaling the bike and shifting it up in gears. You're listening for those clunky, rubbing, tapping, ticking sounds of the chain hitting the cogs themselves. Now at any point while shifting up, you hear those sounds, stop at that gear, and once again, you will simply turn the barrel nut the appropriate direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on if you have to go in or out, to get it lined up on that one. Usually it only takes maybe one quarter turn to make to adjust it again. May take more. This is a precision thing. You do have a range, doesn't need to be perfect. Once you feel you've set that one, you will then continue again up to the higher, up to the next gears. If you feel that all of the gears now are sounding correct, or at least smooth and light and not clunky, you will now eventually get up to the, the largest gear. At this point, just to make sure the limiting, the limiter screw is not overset, you'll want to just keep pedaling and keep trying to shift further up. If you look at the derailleur, and if it looks like it's trying to push too far, that means it may need to be adjusted. That is how you adjust your derailleur. My name is Craig, and I'm from Rise Bikes.